Hey, I'm Caroline with Eat, Hike, Love, and I've put together a five video series for you about your upcoming backpacking retreat so that you have a little bit more information about what to bring, what not to bring, and this is the first in a series of five videos. In this first video, we're gonna be talking about your gear. So I'm just gonna go down the list. If you've got your list handy, you can follow along and take any notes that you need to. So the first item is your 50 to 65 liter pack. That's about the right size for a weekend together. This is my pack. It's a Six Moon Designs 50 liter pack. And the best way for you to find a pack that fits you is to go and try some on. Go to your local outdoor retailer and ask them to try on a few different brands. Six Moon Designs is a great brand. You can also try Gregory or Osprey and there's a number of others. Try it on. Ask the associate to load it up, get it heavy, get it fitted around your hips, try some different things on. And if you're new to backpacking, you might find that none of the packs are actually very comfortable, but find the one that's the most comfortable and go from there. You're welcome to borrow a Six Moon Designs pack for the weekend. Just let me know if you need one and I can arrange that. You're welcome to borrow a pack from a friend as well. Just make sure that it fits you because there's one fast track to disliking backpacking and that is if you have a pack that doesn't fit you. Next is poles. So a few of you have asked me if trekking poles are really necessary and on this weekend trip, the answer is yes. We've got a stream crossing on a few of the different locations. So depending on which location you're coming on, you're really gonna want the poles. They help you with having at least three points of contact when you go through the stream. One leg, two leg, three is the pole, four is another point of contact, which gives you a lot of stability. And even if we don't have a stream crossing, they're really helpful for your ankles and your knees and your hips, and they're just helpful with balance. So yes, you need trekking poles. No, they don't have to be the most expensive ones. Just get some trekking poles designed for hiking. Next is your tent, an ultralight backpacking tent. You may not bring a car camping tent. I mean, you may, but you'll suffer if you do. So you want a tent that is as lightweight as possible. You're welcome to share either with someone that you know on the retreat, or if you'd like to be paired up with someone, let me know. You're also welcome to borrow a shelter from Six Moon Designs. Just let me know and I'll arrange to bring one for you. Your sleeping bag. You wanna bring a sleeping bag that's rated for 20 degrees or colder. We're gonna be at high elevation. It does get cold at night. Uh, one other thing that you might be interested in bringing if you've got a 20 degree bag or even a 30 degree bag, that can work, uh, is a sleeping bag liner. And this is just a synthetic little liner that you can sleep in. It goes inside your sleeping bag. It's inexpensive, keeps you a lot warmer. So that, keep that in mind. A sleeping pad. This is the sleeping pad I'm gonna bring. It's a ridge rest from Thermarest. It's very thin but it insulates and keeps heat uh, in, in your body instead of going into the ground and getting cold. It's super lightweight. You may choose to get an inflatable pad. Those work too. Just keep in mind, if you're a woman with wide hips or a woman who sleeps on your side, you're not gonna want a really narrow pad. A lot of women's pads are actually made more narrow than men's. So again, try some on. Go to your local outdoor retailer, blow some up, lay down on them, see what you think. Uh, you can't really go wrong here other than that you want something ultralight that's designed for backpacking. Next is a little cushion or a seat. This is the seat that I like to bring when I go backpacking. It's really lightweight. Uh, it doubles as a nighttime pillow when I'm ready to go to sleep and it's perfect for our weekend together because we'll be doing some yoga and some meditation and this is a really nice meditation seat. It's also really nice to sit on when we're eating together and sitting around and cooking. Uh, there are some other camp chair options, backpacking chairs that kind of set up and they have poles like tent poles. Those are fine too. If you've got one and you want to bring one, it won't really double as a meditation cushion. It definitely won't double as a nighttime sleeping cushion. Uh, so this is the best option, but you got some flexibility there too. Uh, a day pack. Oh, a pack pillow. So if you're not going to bring one of these for sleeping, bring something that you want to put your head on at night. You can use a pile of clothes, but it's really not the softest thing. You can get a really lightweight inflatable pack pillow and those can be kind of comfy. You can also get uh, a stuff sack that you keep your clothes in and you can just wrap something soft on the outside of it. Um, but keep in mind you're going to want something as a pillow to make sure you're comfy at night while you're sleeping. The next is a day pack. So on our trip, we'll be doing backpacking of course, but on Saturday we'll have an optional day hike. You may not want to bring your whole big heavy 50 to 65 liter pack. So bring a little lightweight day pack. Often backpacks come with one of these. I know Gregory packs, for example, come with a detachable lightweight pack. Many other pack brands have a detachable uh, top part of the pack or what's also called the brain, and you can wear it as a fanny pack. So that's an option too. 
and not every single person on our trip needs to have a day pack if you're coming with a friend and the two of you want to share you just need something that you can bring your water and your snacks in for our daytime adventure and the last thing is an optional luxury item it's a backpacking hammock I'm gonna bring one we'll definitely have some time on this trip to lounge and relax so if you've got an ultralight hammock and you want to bring it feel free you're welcome to use mine as long as I'm not in it at the time uh, but that's a luxury item too so there's our gear list and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.